not Sven, it is Martin, yeah. The next word is the word blunda, which is basically to close your eyes. Did you see her walk in? No, I was blundade. In Sweden we like to specify things, and if you feel the need that you have to go to the bathroom, you can actually specify what you're gonna do in the bathroom, meaning that I am kissnerdig, which means I have to pee, and I am bysnerdig, which means I have to poop. So bys is poop, and kiss is not kissing with your mouth, because that's shus, uh, means pee. The next word is one of those words that are just funny to say. It is kakolaka, which is Swedish for cockroach. Kakolaka. Kakalaka, 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 what, what? The next word is claw, which could either mean clear, as in you look through a window and it's very clear, or the weather is clear, but it also means that you're done. I am claw. The next word is earn, when you earn money, but earn is also Swedish for eagle. The next word is kant, which aside from being a philosopher means the edge of something. Oh, I hit my head on the kant. The third animal is this little buzzy 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 thing, uh, which in English is a bumblebee, which is also a Transformers character. But in Swedish it is humla. 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 This next word is one of the first words you got to learn when I was in school back in the day. It's the word dog, which in English is an animal, but in Swedish it means died. Oh my dog, dog. If you're really tiny, you can travel on a cat. Cat. And the last of the 10 Swedish words in this video is the favorite one called cock, which doesn't mean genitalia at all, it means chef.